So hey, hello everyone. So this video I am going to teach you about how to solve four point DFT by using a very simple method or a shortcut method. So we are we are it's a, like it's very similar to matrix method, but it's just a part of the matrix method that I'm going to teach you now. So while taking considering four point DFT, we generally solve by using the formula. This is the formula x of x of k that thing equal to summation of n equal to zero to it's n okay n equal to zero to that n minus one and we have small x of n and into w of n power n w of n power k power k n okay so this is how we used to solve uh, DFT when they, they give a particular for particular points and they ask to find DFT, we find this by using this method. Where W n, so there is also expansion for W n, so which is e power minus j two pi by n. Okay, so we generally substitute the value of n. Okay, depending upon the n value, zero, one, two, three, we substitute and we also substitute, do the same thing for k also, zero, one, two, three, and goes on to n minus one. So this takes such a large amount of time. Okay. So then came this matrix method. Okay. So what matrix method was that was just uh, some 16 element value. So it has four rows and four columns and it has about W of four of zero, zero and W of four of one, two, three like that. It had some 16 values. Okay. So you, you, you need to find those 16 values by substituting finding this w n okay by using this fiddle factor or they will say fiddle factor like that some factors so you need to find using that but that isn't actually necessary to do it takes a lot of time to do that method okay so in case if you are writing any two marks four marks or even six marks i think so this can be applied it's too quick and mcqs i think this shortcut method is the best way to do it so what you need to do is suppose if your question is to find find the find the four point DFT of the points like they are giving four points x of n is equal to 0 1 2 and 3 in your exam and they are asking giving just two marks if they're asking for 10 marks means you are pretty good you can go by this method you need to find for everything summation etc but anyway the answer is going to be same thing okay suppose if they are two mark or four marks this is your shortcut what we need to do is you just you are not going to solve and find the 16 element values we are just go 16 values by using this w of n we are just going to directly substitute in the matrix and multiply with it so 1 1 1 1 so this is going to be the first row okay second row is going to be 1 same thing is 1 1 so this is actually fourth row 1 and we have 9 more elements only left okay so that's going to be minus j minus j minus 1 j and minus 1 1 minus 1 j minus 1 and minus j finally so this is that matrix okay so we are going to just multiply this matrix with our 0 1 the given question the given four points that any number of values can be any values so this is basically the format so because this whatever uh, maybe these values these four values this matrix okay this two matrix are the same okay w n this is going to be this is going to be constant because they they are based upon the in index values that is 0 1 2 3 till 0 1 2 3 4 because and they are independent of the given points which are necessary to find dft so this matrix is going to remain same only these numbers are going to uh, going to differ so if they ask just multiply the given number given matrix with this so if you multiply now what will happen is i will just erase it now okay so now you have got the matrix so we need to just do perform matrix matrix multiplication of this values. so it's just going to be row by column so for our first value is going to be so 1 into 0 is 0 so it's going to be 0 plus 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 into 2 is 2 plus 1 into 3 is 3 so this is going to be our first value okay and next thing 1 into 0 is 0 plus and minus j into 1 is minus j so just put in bracket 
minus 1 into minus minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 and j into 3 is 3j so you just put a plus over here the next value 1 into 0 is same thing you just put 0 okay going to be 0 plus and minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 and 1 into 2 is 2 minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 okay we have got the first value and plus j plus j and minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 and minus j into 3 is minus 3j so if we just okay we've just expand this value add this value we'll be getting 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 and 3j is uh, 2j minus 2 2j minus 2 and it's going to be minus 3 minus 4 is minus 2 and at the end it's going to be minus 2j minus 2 minus 2j minus 2 okay so this is uh, we have got now our yes it's 6 2j minus 2 minus 2 minus 2j minus 2 so this is our final uh, 4 point dft of the point 0 1 2 3 so if you're asking in one two marks you got it. what you're going to see you need to just memorize this matrix over here this, this matrix is the important thing so you can directly skip uh, this real factor finding subject substituting and this is going to remain the same for all so this is a shortcut method for finding finding 4 point dft quickly if you're asked for less marks and if you ask for some higher marks you obviously need to find everything and either do by this method that method or by doing matrix method or anything that's it for the video mindset program channel do check my other videos i went to c c plus plus java blender unity etc and kindly subscribe and support thank you